Green, I'm Random, Inspector of all departments. Today, March 1st, Mr. Donald Bradley, Jr. will represent me as executive assistant to the president of the corporation. He is to have complete charge of all ships. Was the Atlantic supposed to sail last night? Yes, sir, but the captain got married and... What marriage got to do with business? See that the Atlantic sails immediately. Get another captain. Well, all our captains are at sea just now. You know, we're not allowed to hire outside men. Get another captain. Get Jensen. Jensen, sir? Do you mean to tell me you never heard of Jensen? Sir, is he employed by us? Jensen is the finest captain in the fleet. And I want Jensen to sail as captain of the Atlantic today. Understand? Yes, sir. That's all there are about, Donald. You're not on the ship yelling at the crew. Would you mind revolutionizing this business a little more quietly? Yes, sir. Take a letter. Elements all fine, Bombay, gentlemen. I beg your pardon. Thank you for forgetting I'm not a key. Take another, if you don't mind. Element Salt Mines, Bombay, gentlemen. As per our agreement of January the 12th, I hereby notify you. And though we are exceedingly gratified by the marked improvement in our business during the last few weeks, it is the purpose of this organization to protect the best interests of its members. And it is therefore resolved that those companies who continue the suicidal practice of price cutting will be expelled from the advantages of members. That's all, my brother. Good work, Donald. That's satisfactory to us, Bradley. However, there are a few details I'd like to talk to you about. Suppose we have dinner together tonight. I'm sorry, Mr. Franklin. I have another engagement. <laughs> but this is business. I think you'd better go, Donald. All right, Mr. Franklin. See you later, Franklin. Yeah. Eight o'clock at the house. That blonde baby, if you expect to be there, sure. <laughs> Figuring. Four, two, three, three. Is anyone at the door? No, not at all. Okay. Well, the telephone isn't it, Annie? Yes, ma'am. That may be Don. I told him to call me here. Oh, Cindy. How can I take your call? Yes, she is. Yes, Don. Yes, she's here. Just a moment. It's Don Jones. I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, come on then. Hello, Donnie. Hello, Donnie. Oh, but we had tickets for the theater. I know, darling, but you promised. I'm sorry, too. It isn't your fault. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow night shortly. All right, darling. Bye. Why don't you two get married? You never see each other anyhow. <laughs> Oh, no, no, honey. Mm -hmm. I know it's terrible, but this is Donnie's fault. It's just... Oh, I'm sorry. Here, why don't I take this? It's light. That's what it is. Light. He's been at me for instance. It's so late when he gets home at night, I'm in bed asleep. So he doesn't put the lights on in the bedroom. In the morning when he gets up, it's so early, still dark. Oh, I haven't seen Kitty in years. 
At least you have this. When Don and I are married, we'll have one. Oh, I want a baby more than anything else in the world. Except maybe Don can tell. <laughs> From the mother, darling. She's got to have your nap. <laughs> sleep all day and love to stay up all night. Must be very late. Yes. It's one o'clock. Well, uh, just beginning. Now, it's getting late. Take me home. Yeah, it's very late. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if you and Mr. Bradley have finished your business... Gosh, this is business. And you, too. Do you see that? What's with her? Oh, no, that's it, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Now you can see for yourself. But that's a cute little trick to close the green star line. See you later. Well, I like that. Hello, well, folks. Do you mind if I food a little bit and sit here? How you been, Jackson? Nice night, all right. Warm, but still it's nice. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, really. But I'm a terrible staff. You see, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. Neither do I. What's that? Come on. Why did you? The same reason. Business? Uh-huh. Math? Uh-huh. Oh. I don't like it any better than you do. Hey, you too. Come on, hurry up. What is it? Big business. Hello, everybody. Here's my friend. So we're all going over to my house. Happy Rosie. these people. I don't know. And the funny part of it is, Jackson doesn't know either. Aren't they friends of his? No. This is his house. How did they get here? Who are they anyway? I've often wondered. They're just the people you see at parties. Come on, baby. Let you and me go places. Uh-huh. What's the idea of having a party for people you don't even know? 
will. For that matter, who are you? I don't know. Who are you? I haven't the slightest idea. Say, I like you. You're young. Really young and, well, young. Not like Matt and the others. Well, I like you, too. Look! Well, that's that. Donald, it looks like you have to take me home. All right. But I don't want to go home. Neither do I. Well, let's go places. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> I think we need a little drink. Where is it? I'll get it. Oh, it's right over there, but I'll get it. Well, let's both get it. to you and me.
WKV, signing off at 3 a.m. We'll be on the air again at 9 a.m. Excuse me, Don. We're waiting for you. What's the matter with you tonight? Nothing. What's Trump here? No Trump, darling. No Trump at all. I shouldn't have played that, should I? <laughs> no, darling. We're only down four. Oh, well. I'm sick of bridge anyhow. So am I. What is it, darling? Nothing, I said. Leave me alone. Never mind, Joan. If you want to see a real fight, wait till after you get married. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I should say it was about time you two were getting married, if you're ever going to be. Why? Well, never mind. Only, if you two love each other as much as I think you do, it's calling. Of course, as a friend, it's none of my business. But as a family physician, I don't think it's such a good idea. Joe. Why do you insist upon waiting so long? But why, Bill? What possible difference could it make? Maybe none. Maybe it might make a lot of difference. I don't see how. Bill's right. But, Ronnie, she wants to be married in the spring, didn't we? We should have been married long ago. I didn't think it meant that much to you. We kidded a lot about the date. I don't know why. But I never dreamed it mattered that much to you. If it didn't matter to me, I wouldn't want to marry you. I'm sorry, Joe. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. What do you mean, maybe? Keep you home before you say something else you shouldn't. All right. <laughs> Good night, Don. Good night, old man. Come along. Kiss it over. Yeah, you have to come over our house sometime. We'll put a real one on for you. <laughs> well, Doctor, what do you suppose the matter with you? It's a very serious case. Oh, I was afraid of that. Yes, I'm afraid it's love. No, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Night, Donnie. Night, Don. Night. Night, Donnie. Oh, Donnie, Donnie, what happened to us? You're so far away. I know. But you've never been like this before. Something's happened. Something's come between us. I can't, I can't leave you. Bill was right. He may have been kidding, but he was right when he said we should have been married long ago. If we had, this never would have happened. What, oh, Don? I don't care what it is if you don't you tell me. I can't. Is there Did or something? Oh, if something's come between us, it's my fault, too. Oh, I'm so silly and stupid. It must have seemed to you that the June had so important to me, you know. Oh, if anything's happened, it's my fault, too. But you don't understand. You must care. Oh, it doesn't matter. But I want you to know. Listen, John. Last night at that stupid party, I met a girl named Kitty. Do you love her? 
No, but that doesn't make any difference. Oh, it does. It does. But I want you to know. If you love me, that's all that matters, darling. Do you still? Yes, child. More than ever. I know that so surely now. Sure? You know I do. Oh, then what are we waiting for? Don't you realize we're wasting time? Oh, don't stand there like that. We're growing older every minute. Come on, hurry up. Well, where are you taking me? Never mind. Get your hat and coat. Listen, woman, where are you taking me? Three guesses. I might make it in one, but I'd hate to be wrong. Right the first time. Then you are kidnapping me? Yes. Uh, pretty swell. I don't know why I ever thought of three weddings. I don't think it's much nicer. Oh, but I can't go. It's impossible. I haven't a thing to wear. So well. I... I, I beg your pardon. It's quite all right. I was just about to mention, Mr. Bradley, that I love you very much. And I love you, Mr. Bradley. I, William Jones, Justice of the Peace of Marion County, pronounce you man and wife. And that will be uh, two dollars. You may kiss the bride. Kiss the bride, eh? that is, if you want to. It's customary. And that'll be two dollars. According to our reports from the Naples traffic manager, the total tonnage for the last two months is equal to the quota of last year. Hello. Let's put business early and go for a little game of golf. Aren't you ever going to settle down? Just a playboy, that's all you are. Sure, come on. You go ahead. I have to save the business again this afternoon. Besides, I promised John I'd be home early. Stay look here, young fellow. If you ever want to get along in the world, don't ever take business seriously. Give my love to John. See you later. All right, Father. Hello? Oh, hello. No, I'm sorry. I can't possibly get away. But you must. You don't understand. I've got to see you right away. No, I can't tell you over the phone. You must come. You've got to. <laughs> what is it? What's happened? She tried to kill herself. What is it? It's all right now, but we have to watch every minute. Don't come near me. Don't touch me. What is it? Why did you send for me? Is there something I can do for you? How can I help? You know, I'm married now. But I know. Oh, it is no to me. That's the awful part of it. There is no me. But you, too. Listen, darling. You must believe that I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Oh, you won't believe me. But it's the truth. I didn't know. What do you mean? You're married now, aren't you? Yes. You're happy now, aren't you? Yes. I can't understand you. I'm trying to tell you. 
I don't know how to say it. Don, that night you were here. You must believe that I didn't know then. You must understand that Matt and I were friends. That he came here often. You understand? Yes. That's all I want to say. Now get out. Get out! Leave me alone! You fool! You stupid fool! Can't you understand? Told you there was something wrong with Matt. Now I've got it. Oh yes, I've got it. There's no doubt about that. For all I know, I passed it on to you. You and your little wife. Now do you understand? I don't believe you. You hear me? I don't believe you. You're lying to me. A thing like that couldn't happen to me. It's impossible. It just couldn't. You're lying. I'm Dr. Caldwell, and ask you to come up right away. I'm giving you three headquarters. How long have you known this girl? Come on, you've been going out with her. How long have you known her? You can save yourself a lot of trouble if you tell us now. Come on. How long have you known this girl? Oh, all right. Ask him to come in, please. Hello, Bill. How are you? I'm awfully busy. I'll be with you in a minute. Donald, I want you to come downtown with me. Listen, it's very important or I wouldn't have come. What is it? What's happened? Joan. Bill, is Joan all right? She's all right, except... Well, I think you'd better come along. Well, what is it? What's happened to her? Tell me. Tell me. Now, there's nothing to be upset about. We talk it all over in the car. But I don't understand. Why is he come up here for me like that? Bill, you must tell me. What's happened to her? Has there been an accident? Has no. she? Well, then what is it? Where is she? Where are you taking me? Have you ever heard of Dr. Vincent Leonard? I don't know. I guess so. He's a specialist of some kind, isn't he? A very famous one. Donnie, I sent Joan to see him. I want you to see him, too. He has consented to see you at the clinic instead of at his office. Why do you suppose I insisted upon you being a physical examination last week? I don't know. That everyone should have one at least once a year. Yeah, but there was another reason. No. Joan has been under my care. I discovered that she has an infection. Bill! What do you mean? Your wife is here. But before you see her, I want to talk to you. I'm going to have to ask Doctor, I, I want to see her. I must see her. Don't you understand? I'm worried. 
She's all right, Donald. Well, then why are we here? I don't believe you. I want to see her for myself. I must talk to you first. It's a matter that requires immediate attention. Now, you must understand that I'm required to make a rather searching inquiry. I must ask you whether or not you've ever had any indication that you're suffering from an infectious disease. Why do you ask that? Dr. Hall has discovered that you're suffering from a very serious blood condition, a venereal disease. John? I'm afraid so. Oh, it isn't true. It can't be true. Joan, too? It isn't possible. Now, I'm afraid it's true. You must understand that these things happen without any very obvious symptoms. Donald, how far did that affair with Elise Cooper go? She killed herself because she was diseased. Was that the reason you couldn't tell Joan about it at the time? Is there any possibility that you might have contracted the disease from this girl? Well, you don't understand. You see, she sent for me afterwards to tell me. She hadn't known anything about it at the time. When she found out about it, she sent for me. Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid to. I didn't want you to know. Well, anyhow, what difference does it make? I went to a doctor. Who was he? I don't know. Horton, I think his name was. I know. One of these advertising papers. I've heard that story before. Others have been to him and the fakers like him. I'm sorry, Bradley, but there can be no doubt about our test. I don't believe you. You're mistaken. You see, he told me. You're so sure about it. Well, why should he be wrong? He said I was all right. He told me there was nothing to worry about. I don't care what you say, do you hear me? I don't care what you say. He said I was all right. I'm sorry, Donald. Well, why shouldn't I believe him as much as I do you? Can't you be wrong? I believe him, do you hear me? Now, Donald, listen. You don't realize what you're up against. You don't realize how serious this thing is. I'm not going to treat it as I would an ordinary case. I've known your father for years. I don't usually do these things, but before I tell you what can be done, I want you to know, I want you to see for yourself. I want you to realize what you're up against. Come on, Donald. All right, Brown. This is a case of locomotor ataxia. The disease was contracted years ago. Incidentally, there's no doubt that it was taken innocently to playing bridge one night at a friend's house. He borrowed a pipe. The friend, of course, was already infected. Here's a curious coincidence. This infection was contracted innocently, too. Years ago, through a kiss, the primary sore was neglected for a cold sore, and the treatment was neglected. See the shape he's in now. Not 
so innocent. He's been with a streetwalker. This poor woman's been suffering for years. What she thought was rumored. We took a blood test. Positive. See that woman? This is a shocking case. She's had seven children. Yeah. Didn't know she was infected until she took a blood test. We checked up on the children. One of them's dead, but of the six living, one of them is partially blind and deaf, one deaf and dumb, one crippled, one an idiot. The fifth mentally defective. And the 18-month-old baby is also separated. Joan, you'll be all right in a moment. He's all right, Donald. You just think he'll be all right in a few moments. Sorry, Donald, but I had to make you realize just how serious this thing is. But now that you do know, I want you to realize that there's still hope. It's been neglected too long, but tomorrow we start a course of treatment. Both you and your wife must continue with these treatments regularly for a period of about two years. At the end of which time, I think I can safely say you'll both be cured. And moreover, as far as the child's concerned, Fortunately, we've caught the case early enough. And there's, it's vitally important, for the sake of the child, that Mrs. Bradley's treatment should start as soon as possible. And if they're continued regularly, every assurance that your child will be born normal and healthy. You see, Donald? It's going to be all right. I feel for that boy. After all, if he slipped once. Still, he's not like many of them that are only getting what they ask for. And that poor girl. Well, it's bad enough on him, but it's terrible for her. And I see so many like them. I'm not so sure it isn't just as bad for him now. He feels the responsibility terribly. Her in that hysterical condition, pregnant. Bill. I can cure that young couple physically, I think, but I'm afraid for them. They're so likely to lose faith with a the world they thought was beautiful, and with each other. Stay young and sensible. Watch them carefully, Bill. Yes, I will, Doctor. I'm terribly worried. I don't know whether or not they can pull through, mentally, I mean. But I'll do the best I can. Thanks, Doctor. Come on, you two. Let's go. 
Come on, snap out of it. Everything's going to be all right. What are you worrying about? Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Take it easy, Joan. I'm all right. Are you all right now, Joe? Hello, Joan. Hello, Joan. Hello, Billy. Got a kiss? Billy. I'm sorry, Joan. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to you see. Well, Joan. Oh, my God. Come on, Sonny. Off to bed with you. Let's go, darling. Yes, Lord.
Oh, God. We'll be all right. 